When engineering, maintaining or supporting a Delta V system using one or many development systems, it is important to control versions and configuration elements between those systems to prevent compromising the master system's proven, tested or validated state. You may also wish to provide a measure of change between one snapshot in time and another. These are known as baseline comparisons. At Intuitive, we have produced a document for internal engineer development and the wider Delta V community to highlight some of the configuration management challenges. This can be downloaded at this page using this link. This is a, a quick overview of the document, it provides some background, uh, an introduction, some of the problems encountered, but uh, in conclusion We've just highlighted that uh, Intuitive have developed a number of utilities to assist in this configuration ma uh, management activity. Uh, and the subject of this particular video is the Delta V FHX Extract and Compare tool. The uh, Delta V FHX Extract and Compare tool takes two full system FHX uh, files, export files, or parts of those. Uh, systems, for example the libraries or the control strategies, and uh, it rapidly processes those files uh, and presents them in a format that then can be visualized using simple compare tools uh, to show additions, deletions or modifications to items that exist in both systems. So for example you may have a uh, the master client system uh, where you've got to provide, produce some modifications to that system. Uh, so you take a copy of the client system, you take it away, uh, install it on a development system, then you modify things on that uh, development system and then at some point you've got to then take them back to site. Now the problem then arises that uh, the system that you've got on the site could have been uh, developed in parallel which uh, is not ideal but it does happen on, a, on an operating live plant and obviously you've modified uh, configuration items, uh, you've added stuff, you may accidentally have altered stuff that you shouldn't have altered uh, which you do not want to import into that system. Uh, so this, this, this utility rapidly allows you to take the configuration at the second uh, point in time and uh, your configuration and then again compare and say okay why have those uh, items changed? Yeah, w w what have we done there? Do we need those? Is that something we need to import into the uh, the live system uh, on site? So this is where this tool uh, it's invaluable. I've used it on numerous projects, uh, big projects where uh, you've got engineering in multiple uh, locations around the globe. Um, so anyway, that's a quick summary of what the tool does. I'll then go into uh, a quick demonstration. So we've got the intuitive uh, FHX compare tool and it comes as a simple uh, single F, uh, executable file. Um, it also distributes with the with some instructions in a PDF file which uh, if we run the executable, well I've got it already got it running here, um, there's a help which actually calls up the PDF file uh, which gives uh, some brief instructions on how to use the tool uh, which I shall quickly go through in the video anyway. So well, there we go. Okay so let's see what we've got. So we've got two uh, entry fields here for the two FHX uh, source files. So I shall uh, browse to uh, the folder where I've got my uh, source files. <laughs> Nicely called F uh, source FHX files. So uh, the first one will actually enter the uh, client's master system. So select that, uh, which is there, and then we need to then pick the secondary uh, development system FHX, which again I'll open there. And then you have to uh, say where you wish to uh, store the results, so we've got the output folder. So I'll click on that and uh, store it in the same folder, and that uh, is there. Okay, so it's as simple as hitting extract. Now what this is doing, it's uh, passing the FHX file, it's running through the first FHX file at the moment, it gives you some status updates as you can see here, what's going on and the item that's being processed. It's extracting the, uh, the, the 
per item within the uh, FHX file. Uh, so it does that, which is uh, very useful. The secondary part that it does is actually takes out the username and the timestamp for each item, which is where the problem of just comparing, comparing FHX files uh, simply uh, occurs because you can have a different timestamp and a different username in two systems although the actual item is exactly the same. Uh, so the second part of the tool removes that uh, part of the file which then allows uh, an advanced folder compare utility uh, beyond compare we utilize uh, to just look at all those items and then say okay well that one that item doesn't exist in that in the master system but it is in the development system should it exist there possibly so that's an item that we need to take to site and then uh, equally we might have an item that's uh, in the client system but not in the development system so again there's you have to then justify well why that why is that item been deleted or is it that uh, it's been added to, to the client system in parallel whilst uh, you've been develop uh, performing the development activities uh, and then possibly one of the most important things is actually identifying differences between uh, items uh, and as uh, if you're uh, familiar with Delta V certain things such as uh, a name set if they're altered in both you can uh, cause yourself some uh, real problems if you import an updated name set uh, you don't have an option to not import it uh, unless it's read only uh, which is not uh, the normal s state of a name set uh, and then you can potentially give rise to a need for a complete total download of your system which on a live operating plant can be uh, not catastro <laughs> catastrophic but uh, it can definitely cause a lot of upset especially in a plant that's uh, you know got a, a one two three four five year shutdown window uh, it's just not possible to perform a download anyway this uh, tool will go on for a little while uh, it's still passing the first FHX file at the moment. Uh, I'll pause the video and we'll come back when it's completed. Okay, so uh, the tool's now finished processing the two FHX files, and it provi provides a uh, brief summary of uh, what, uh, how many items it's found in the files. As you can see here in uh, the first FHX file, it found 6,232 items. Uh, in FHX2, it found. Uh, 6,233 items. It also then provides a summary of uh, what it's got, what it's found in there. It does the actual comparison. So it found uh, items with differences. It provided, found nine uh, items in source one, which was the master system, and not in two, is one. So that would uh, show an item that's been deleted uh, on the development system. You've then got uh, items in two which is the development system, uh, current FHX and the FHX1 which was the system, so that's an addition of two items so there we go, two uh, and then it just also compares all items and it will just it's just a confidence factor that it says yes uh, there's 6,223 items in there that are actually the same so what you can also do is, uh, although this isn't the uh, you really utilize uh, beyond compare for full detailed comparisons but you can get a quick summary of the, the items with differences which just produces a simple uh, html page shows the items that have got differences in there so it's a it's an enumeration set and name set uh, it's uh, v onwards uh, and as you can see there. and if you wish you can actually click on those and it will pull up the source and show you the uh, a source from uh, source code, uh, source file one, which was the system, master client system, and then the uh, development system. Although it's not easy to identify the difference there. Okay, so let's close that one down. It uh, just shows your items that are in one and not in the other. Obviously, you just get one entry there, uh, and then that is items in the other way around. Okay. Uh, and I don't think we'll pull up the uh, items that are the same in both because uh, it's quite a big list. 
Okay, so that's uh, where we are for now. But what we then utilise, which is uh, not an intuitive tool, it's uh, something called Scooter Beyond uh, Scooter Soft Beyond Compare. But that uh, actually takes the two extracted uh, sets of files, does a, a folder compare, and identifies the exact uh, items that have got the differences. And then you can drill down deeper in that to find out uh, what the the real problem is or the real differences are. Uh, now that the actual the tool has produced these folders here. So you've got uh, two folders called FHX Source 1 and FHX Source 2 which are the the FHX extraction from uh, each of the items. So you can see there it just well it's created 6000 files, FHX files which uh, just you can open up uh, in a text editor and you can see there we are content of that uh, item but as I said earlier this uh, causes a problem because the timestamp entries for, uh, for each item uh, can be different between the two systems if uh, for some reason uh, I guess a quirk of Delta V it can update them and uh, when you import to a system it uh, imports it with the name of the user that's imported them, which may not be, in this case, administrator on the other system. So uh, that straight away would give you a, a, a false positive that there is a difference where actually the content in the file could be exactly the same. So it's uh, it's filtering out the uh, <laughs> the chaff really, uh, the stuff that's in it unimportant. So. That's, we do produce the source file, so you can look at the raw source file. But also what we do is produce the same group of files as a stack of text files. But in those, in this case, we've actually removed the top two header lines, which is the username and the source code, the source, uh, the timestamp. Which means that uh, you can then use a tool like Beyond Compare to, s to compare this item in... Uh, the first FHX file and the same item in the second FHX and then it can just do an exact binary compare and it will say yes it's the same or no it's not. So let's now just open up uh, Beyond Compare which is this little button here. Uh, so we do recommend using this tool, it's quite a cheap tool, it's uh, licensed at about £35, $35, £35 per user. Uh, and then, as you can see, we can then do a simple folder compare. And this is uh, so you've got the FHX source output, or source one output on the left hand side, and the, uh, the FHX source two output on the right hand side. And this is identified in that we have got two, uh, a number of files, the red ones, which are different. So there are items in both systems which are different. Uh, the blue are items that are in the development system, source 2, but not present in source 1. So that's a new item that's been added. And then equally, uh, there's another blue one, another new one, but equally this is an item that is in the master system on site, but not in the uh, development system. So that's a deletion. So, as you can see, from 6,000 or so items, we've filtered it down to a, a manageable list which you can uh, quickly look at and say, okay, yeah, we can justify the differences there. We know why we've added that, we know why we've deleted that. Or, possibly, we don't know, and then uh, you can do a bit more of an investigation. So, uh, Beyond Compare is good because it then allows you to double-click on the uh, the particular item, so the ones where there are differences. And it very uh, quickly lets you visualise, well, well, what's the difference here? Okay. Uh, oh. Oh, look, there's a spaced has been uh, deleted there. So it's an insignificant change, so it's an item that we wouldn't need to take to site because it's just a description issue. So we shall uh, close that one down. Let's have a look at something else. We might have something that's a bit more significant in here. Um, beyond compare, just when there's no differences, it's just a uh, black and white just as I've seen it here but we can zoom straight down to to see what the uh, a significant change is well for some reason uh, we've changed a value here at a 
control module class uh, control module class AI soft 52 for some reason on this system it's not exposed for configuration uh, sorry it is exposed but it's not been changed and on this uh, system it has been changed uh, and so on so that's the only change in there but again it's something you really got to justify because it's a control module class well taking that to site and importing that might mean that you've compromised or potentially you know, hundreds of modules on a like an oil and gas project that's got thousands of analog input uh, modules that could cause a problem, could cause a uh, need for a download which you pr possibly don't need to do if it's a valid reason then that's great uh, but at least it's identifying and quickly identifying the difference uh, essentially that's it uh, that's what the tool can do for you but as you can see very simplified uh, graphical visualization of what uh, has changed. So I think that's it for this demonstration. So uh, if you think this might be of some value to you, uh, then please uh, get in contact with us. Uh, it's at this location. Um, it's a utility we use on our projects. Uh, and uh, there is a licensing system, so if you were, uh, would want it, then uh, we'd have to uh, arrange some commercial uh, terms. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.